Okay, hello, it's Danny again. Uh, the other day, I, just so you'll know, uh, obviously I'm not a filthy rich dude. I've had a nice bunch of trucks and different things, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, the other day, I'd, uh, I'm always running across something. I mean, I work on four wheelers, I work on boats, I've been an auto mechanic, a petroleum petrochemical inspector, and quality safety, blah, blah, blah. But uh, something was surprising to me the other day. I drove to work, and whenever I got to work, I looked underneath the truck, and I wound up having a bunch of uh, oil looked like up underneath the radiator area. I'd recently had the radiator done, I don't know, say about a year ago when I'd had the motor put in and uh, there shouldn't have been any reason for any oil to be coming out from anywhere underneath the truck. So whenever I went over and opened it up, I thought maybe I blew a transmission line that goes into the radiator. But uh, and the reason being it was the motor, the oil had a red tinge to it. If you know anything about motor oils or uh, transmission fluids, Transmission fluid is actually a red color. If you mix it with water, it's going to turn kind of a milky looking pinkish color. Uh, anyway, I wiped everything down and looked close to see if there was uh, a broken hose or a loose fitting, and everything was fine. And I don't know what actually drew me to look at the uh, water reservoir where you normally would have your uh, antifreeze or it's antifreeze. Uh, but anyway, I noticed that the water line was all the way to the cap. When I opened it up, I found there was a lot of uh, oil, uh, which was transmission fluid, that was in the uh, reservoir. Remember, I pulled it off, uh, took a closer look at it. Uh, there was definitely transmission fluid in the radiator uh, itself. When I pulled the cap off, I could see oil uh, on the top of the water. So anyway, uh, I went ahead and pulled the reservoir off, pulled the tank off, and had my suspicions that there probably was, uh, I mean, I understand how it works, and so in case you don't know how it works, you have an inlet line that goes uh, from your transmission uh, into the top of the radiator, and it doesn't actually go into the radiator. I mean, it does go into the radiator, but it does not commingle with the water in the radiator, the glycol antifreeze. And uh, once it goes in the top of the radiator inlet, it goes down about a foot, 15 inches, and then it comes back out again and circulates back into the transmission. And uh, what it's doing is it's actually cooling the radiator, uh, or not cooling the radiator, it's using the radiator to cool the transmission uh, fluid. And also you have an external uh, core that looks like a, a radiator core, an air conditioner core. And, those, and that's the two ways they cool down the oil in your transmission so that it runs at an optimal temperature. Anyway, uh, to my surprise though, my transmission had been uh, acting up a little bit. Um, at about 60 miles an hour, it would make this noise that sounded like you walk, you rode off the road and hit the rumble strips. You know, like boom, 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 you, know, you could feel a uh, kind of a noise vibration whenever you got about 60. If you were in overdrive and you got to about 65, 70, and then say you dropped back and you got down to about 55 and you just slowly accelerated on the uh, accelerator again, you would feel this vibration. So I figured I was about due for a transmission job and so I'd started driving around and taking it out of overdrive. So uh, once I'd uh, taken the radiator over to the radiator shop and talked with the guy uh, about it, he confirmed that actually, yes, there was an inter internal, uh, I don't know, it's like ribs. There In my transmission, there's, it's about four ribs that are probably a foot long and about three inches wide that uh, flat. And actually what it does is it, it widens that transmission fluid out to a thin, you know, a, a thin flat surface so that it cools with the water inside the radiator and then circulates back out and goes back through. After a period of time, truck now has about 180,000 miles on it. The thing had actually got uh, corroded up, messed up, and wound up having a crack in it, and so the transmission fluid left the transmission lines mixed in with the uh, water in the radiator. And the good news was is because uh, the transmission has a, I'm just going to guess, so let's say 300 PSI of pressure, it wouldn't allow the water to seep back into the line to put water back in my transmission. So I didn't have to have the transmission flushed, uh, just so you'll have, have that in the back of your mind. Anyway, uh, once I had that part changed out, 
and so you'll know it's a sixty five dollar uh, thing uh, pulled it out in the morning while I was at work took it down the road they put it in I put it back in the uh, in the truck and to my surprise uh, when I was coming home all of a sudden the vibrating noise in the transmission went away it's going to be my guess that actually what happened was is there was a restriction uh, in the in that tube assembly that was inside the transmission and that probably contributed to causing the uh, transmission to not quite get the pressure uh, or the the fluid and the buildup that it needed to stay engaged and so it was probably chirping in, in and out of uh, seeing it's a hydraulic transmission probably chirping in and out so uh, this being the case now that problem's gone away and to be honest with you it was a $65 cure and it's back on the road again so anyway if you wind up having oil in your radiator that's actually where it's coming from. It's coming from your transmission, uh, coming from the transmission line, coming from the little uh, internal cooling uh, ribs that are inside of the uh, radiator. And like I said, all he does is just take the cap off one end of the radiator, they put a new piece in, put it back in. While he's got it open, you might as well get him to go ahead and ride out your radiator uh, so it'll be nice and clean and fresh and uh, it'll help reduce the uh, the temperature in your on your dash gauges and stuff if you're having any heating issues or anything. Anyway, hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, look forward to you guys swinging back by some other time. Thanks for stopping.